how you guys doing today so in today's video i'm going to be showcasing how you can do boot your steam deck to be able to run windows and steam os on your steam deck so if that's something you guys were interested in hit the like button subscribe to the channel let's get right into it so to guess that i want to say shout outs to game tech planet he's also a youtuber who created a similar video and he definitely was helpful we guided me through this process. I will post a link to his channel in the description below. So let's get right into this. So there's several things that you're going to need for this to work and you're going to need to download these. So to get started, you're going to need to download the recovery image for your SteamOS. So this is important. Next, you're going to need Rufus and Rufus is going to let you to be able to put that Windows image to your Steam Deck. So make sure you have that. You're going to need Windows 10 or 11. I prefer 10. Seems to run better than 11 so far in the Steam Deck. So you can come here and download it. And then you're going to need your drivers as well. So you can come here and download your drivers. And last but not least, for you to get control support working, you need to download these three files here. So one, two, three. So again, I will post all these links in the description below. So with that being said, we're going to get started. So I already have my Steam image downloaded. So make sure you click here to download it. So next, you're going to need to install Rufus. So come here. I already have Rufus installed. So I downloaded 3.20. So make sure you do that as well. And then again, Windows 10, just come here, hit download. I have it downloaded myself. But for you guys, just come here, click download. Next, again, download all these drivers, one, two, three, four, five, six. Make sure you have all these drivers downloaded. So when you boot up Windows, you can have audio and also Wi-Fi as well. So these are really important. So come here and download these three, one, two, three. And the reason being, when you go to Windows, you're going to need this to make sure that the controller works the way it should. So the first thing is you're going to need a way to transfer this from your PC to your Steam Deck. I use a micro SD card, so whatever format you guys use, just make sure you have that plugged into your PC. So I'm going to come here, list all device, and as you see right here, it's able to detect my micro SD card. And then I'm going to come here, I'm going to select the Steam Deck recovery image, and then I'm going to just start it, and it should be able to put that now on here. So just hit OK, and you should be good to go. So this takes a little bit, give it time. But yeah, once it's done, you're good. All right, so now that we're done with that, we're going to open up the Windows creation that we downloaded. So here it is. Let's open this up. All right, next step. So we're going to want to create an installation media USB. So let's hit that, hit next. And yes, we're going to hit next here. All right, so we're going to do USB flash drive here. And then the same removable device, the no label. We're going to go with that. So it's going to take us time to do that. All right, so as you guys can see here, it's finished. So we're just going to hit finish and should be good to go. All right, so the next step, we have our micro SD card here. We're just going to plop that in. So you guys are seeing here. All right, so the next step is we're going to hold the power button and down. So we're going to let go of the power button, but continue to hold down. And it should bring us to a screen like this. And so we want to go to the SD card that we installed here. And I believe it's this one here. So next you're going to be treated to the screen. When you get to the screen, you want to come here. You want to go to all application, scroll down here until you see KDE partition manager. So we're going to open that, give it a little time to run. And so this is the micro SD card. So we want to pick this. This is the WDC. That is our internal storage. And that's what we want to partition. So as you see right here, this is it. So we're going to click home right here. All right. So next step, you want to resize. So here is where you can mess around with how much size that you want to give Windows when you do booting. All right. So I think this is a good amount split in half. Give Windows 456, Steam gets 5, right? So let's hit OK. And then we'll scroll all the way down. And you'll see the unknown. Here's my new petition. And again, this is what Windows is going to be getting. So the next step here is you want to left click. And then you want to hit New. And then you want to change it to Windows format type. And this NTFS. So we're going to hit this. We're going to hit OK. So once that's done, we can then hit apply and we should be good to go. So let's hit that. And it's just letting us know that this is really about to happen. It's going to partition it. 
So we're going to hit yes and we should be good to go. All right. So now you can see the partition's been done. This is the NTFS and we should be good to go. So all we have to do now is just exit this out and go back to this and power it off here. So we're going to shut it down. So now we're going to switch. We're going to remove the steam card and we're going to put the windows card in here. And it's going to be similar process. Once that's in again, hold the power button and hold down. Lego the power button and let it boot up. All right. So here we are and we're going to again, use the micro SD card that we have the window stuff. All right. So we treat to the screen and this might freak some of you guys out, but don't worry as we get into windows, you can change the screen uh, rotation. So we're just going to go with all of this hit next. We're going to install now and let it set up windows for us. All right. So I'm going to put, I don't have a product activation key and then it's going to ask which one which I'm going to pick Windows 10 Home. Again, if you have Windows 11, here's where you'll pick that. And then this is just stuff that it wants you to read. I'm just going to accept it. So next you're going to hit custom install. And again, this is where you want to pick the partition that you made. So this is the partition. Again, it's important to remember the size of the partition so you can make that connection. So again, this is the one that I made. So I'm just going to click it. We're going to hit next and it's going to start copying it like you're seeing right there. All right. So it's going to load up a lot, but then when it's all said and done, you brought to the screen and this is the screen to where you set up windows on here. So we're going to just skip all of this and again, get right into this. But now you don't have internet because you have to install the driver. So let's skip that continue with limited setup again we'll get to everything that requires internet so to we're going to name our pc all right just enter some security question here so go through all this accept it again you can always set all of this stuff later all right so here we have it this is windows on our steam deck so so let's switch the rotation you're gonna want to hold down the button here go to display settings and then you want to scroll all the way down and then you want to go from portrait to landscape. And then we want to keep changes. So now we should have a traditional looking screen. I told you guys not to worry. <laughs> so next thing we want to do now is just all the drivers that we uh, saved onto the micro SD card. We're just going to open it up here. We're going to go to this windows driver. Again, it's important for you guys to make that folder. So we're just going to start installing all of these drivers. All right, here we go. So this is the Wi-Fi um, driver. We just setting it up right now. So we're going to finish and we're good to go. So we're going to go back here and we're going to find the other driver here. We're going to open it up and we're going to install driver and hit yes. Again, this might sound boring, but it's really important to install all these drivers so Windows can work properly on your Steam Deck. All right, so that one is done. We're going to hit back. We're going to come to this one here. Going to hit it. And then for this one, you want to push the L2 button here. You want to hit install. This is the audio driver, I believe, right? So we're going to go back again. There's another one of these that we have to do the same thing for. I believe it's this one left, this one, and then we're going to install it. Again, another audio driver. There's two parts to that. And we're going to go back again. I know this sounds so tedious, but trust me, guys. In order to get Windows working properly, this is really important. So we're going to hit setup, hit yes. And then we're going to hit next. And then we have finished. All right, so last driver is this one here. Just going to set it up. And this is the AMD software. All right, so that finished, and in order for that to work, you need to restart it. 
All right, so we're going to open up this as well. And then we're going to go back to the micro SD card because we have the controller stuff to still install here. So we're going to go to Windows drivers. And then we're going to first start with the bus. We're going to hit next. We're going to hit agree. Hit next, install. Yes, we want the bus driver. And again, this is to get the controller support working to where um, it recognizes the Steam Deck controller some windows. We're going to do the VC here as well. Hit agree. Hit install. Hit yes. So we're going to close that. And then last is we're going to set up the SWCD. Hit yes. Hit OK. Next. Agree. Next. Install. And that's done. All right. So we should be able to see that here. So again, when you're ready to um, play a Windows game, just come here, go to default profile, and put this uh, button enable and mouse movement enable, this lizard mode. And by enabling these two, it should get your Steam Deck controls to recognize your Steam games. And also, you would have to have Steam open. I'm not going to show you all that. Again, uh, reference Game Text Planet video if you guys want to see how to get that going. But just want to show you guys how to set up your Windows once you have it here installed in your Steam Deck. All right, so Mom in the Truth, does this work? Let's test it out and see if this works. So we're going to hit the pause button and see what we get here. And so we have Windows booting up now. Let's just enter. And like you've seen, we have Windows here. We can use our Steam Deck trackpad to navigate and all that. So we're going to power it off. And we're going to switch it to Steam OS. And so there's a way to do this to where you don't need to do what I'm doing. But I prefer it this way because the other way that I've tried, I noticed that when I tried to install Android on here, it seems to destroy my dual boot. But yeah, it's in GTP's video, Game Text Planet. So if you guys want to see the other method to where it gives you 11 seconds to choose between Windows or SteamOS, definitely make sure you check that out. But if you want to go to Steam again, you hold the power button and the down button here. Release the power. And this should give you an option to pick Steam. You'll see here in a second. So here we are again, you have your Windows and you have your Steam. So we're going to go to Steam and we should be able to just jump right into our Steam OS from here. So this is how you dual boot Windows. Again, if you want the other method to give you 11 seconds to switch between the two, follow Game Text Planet guide. But I like this way better because it doesn't break my dual boot, which can be annoying to always have to reinstall that. All right, so as you can see, here's my Steam OS running and again, just play in the game that I want and it's good to go. All right, fellas, let me know what your thoughts on this video. Hit the like button, subscribe if you found this video helpful. Share with others who might be looking for how to do a boot on your Steam Deck. Appreciate you guys. Again, remember to check out Game Text Planet video on this too. It goes into more detail about how to get this done. All right, fellas, appreciate you guys. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Until next time, peace out.